So welcome back. This is a uh, third in the sequence of uh, the life of Ficino. Um, and by the way, we'll have many, uh, several more sequels that get into the, his philosophy, which is uh, really fascinating. So our guest today uh, again is uh, Hannah. Hannah, you want to say hello? Hello. Looking forward to uh, translating this with you all. Okay. So this is the third section um, for uh, Wednesday, if you uh, want to do it on that day. And uh, by the way, uh, you can. Uh, look at the find the texts uh, the text itself uh, before we start explaining all these the week before and then you can actually try to translate them on your own and then and then uh, listen to our recording and make corrections however necessary as a way to really work through the text and take advantage of it so our normal procedure will be followed I'll just read out loud and and Hannah uh, uh, will read after me and please read with her to get a feel of the flow of the sentence and then I'll ask her specific questions and try to imagine in your own mind um, what your what your answers would be so we can build up together sort of cooperatively the meaning of these sentences. Okay, um, and I think we should get through uh, maybe uh, eight minutes. What do you think, Hannah? I think we can do it. <laughs> okay, how about, how about everyone else? You think they can do it too? I think so. I think they've been doing a really great job. I think you've all been doing a great job. Okay, here we go. Um, See if I get this screen here, uh, pencil. All right. Um, Entscheiden für den jungen Ficino war die Anstellung des Vaters zunächst aus Kiorg am Florentiner Krankenhaus. Everybody? Here. Entscheiden für den jungen Ficino war die Anstellung des Vaters zunächst aus Kiorg am Florentiner Krankenhaus. Okay, uh, verb is? Verb is war. So it was, and then is there, um, is there a predicate, usually with var, which cannot take a direct object because it's um, uh, a stative verb, um, normally there's a, like a predicate noun or predicate adjective, do you know where that would be? Um, is it entscheiden? Yeah, it means decisive, so this is like a predicate adjective, so it was decisive. Um, and, and so where's the uh, subject? Uh, the subject is going to be uh, anstellu, so yeah. yeah. So the position, and then this is just the genitive, uh, the position of the father. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and then you could actually begin this almost like a uh, adverbial, fra adverbial phrase, decisive for the young Ficino, i.e., when 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 he was um, a, a younger man is is the idea for mm -hmm. that. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see, I think everything is pretty clear. So next just means first of all, it's an adverb. And you can put that in where you feel it's most appropriate. So you want to try a, a translation of that slowly? Sure. Okay, so um, beginning with that pred predicate adjective. So um, decisive for the young Pacino was the position of his father, uh, first of all, as a surgeon. Uh, at the Florentine Hospital. Great. Okay. Good. We didn't mention what shiurg means, but that that's correct. And then going on, und dann als Leib, sorry, als Leibarzt des Pater Patrie in Florence, Cosimo de Medici. Everybody. Uh, und dann als Leibarzt des Pater Patrie in Florence, Cosimo de Medici. Good. So you have a uh, sort of a, uh, a sequence here. So next, first of all, and then Don follows that, and then so first of all as a as a as a um, surgeon, and then live arts. Live means body, and arts means doctor. So this is you could say the the personal physician of the pater patrie. So this is um, the father of the father, um, <laughs> i.e. the very most important influential person, Cosimo de' Medici. Okay, uh, you want to just finish that that second part of that sentence? Sure. Um, so, and then as personal doctor of the Pater Patrie in Florence, Cosimo de Medici. Good. Cosimo war 1434. Everybody? Cosimo war 1434. Aus dem Exil heimgekehrt und herrschte. Aus dem Exil heimgekehrt und herrschte. Ohne Rang und Titel in der Kaufmannstadt. Ohne Rang und Titel in der Kaufmannstadt. Okay, so, um, so, uh, 
Uh, so in starting from right here, where's your verb? Uh, verb is var. Okay. And, oh, and then um, it connects. <laughs> There's more. Um, so um, var uh, heimgekehrt. Good. So this is a, a past participle, which, which uh, in this case, this is the um, um, this is the pluperfect had, and and so these uh, past participle then would float out to the end of the clause or the phrase, and also would would could not cannot go beyond a coordinating conjunction with right here. So instead of going all the way to the end of the uh, sentence, it it is um, it stops right here. It's where it is placed. Okay, so Heim. Heim is home. Karen is to return. So this is a uh, had returned home. Uh, Plus perfect tense. Um, and then and then going on f and und. And then where's the verb? Uh, herste. Okay. And uh, what what case does Ona always take? Um. um uh, it actually, takes the the accusative, but there's no definite article here, so you just have you don't have definite articles without. Without rank or and title, and uh, Kaufmannstadt is Stadt is the city. Um, Kaufmann is the salesman, so this is like the merchant city. Is how that works. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, you do the whole sentence starting with Cos Cosimo. Sure. So, um, um, so is it okay to start with the date? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, um, in 1434, Cosimo had returned home from exile and ruled without rank and title in the merchant city. Great. Okay. Um, <clears throat> um, going into the next sentence uh, from here, let me just erase this first part here. Okay. Uh, we're right here. Okay. Uh, going on. Marsilio's carriere blieb zeitlebens mit dem Schicksal <clears throat> Des Hauses Medici verknüpft. Everybody? Marcilius Carriere bleib Zeitlebens mit dem Schicksal des Hauses Medici verknüpft. <clears throat> okay. Um, how about the verb complex? Um, the verb complex would be uh, blieb verknüpft. <laughs> you corrected your pronunciation of this one. <laughs> Good. Blieb verknüpft. And what does what this uh, verb come from? What's, what's the infinitive? Uh, for bleiben, bleib, or for? For this one, for bleib. Uh, bleiben. Bleiben, good. So the verb complex, the verb um, principal parts are bleiben, bleib, geblieben. So it's E, I, I, E, I, E pattern for the three principal parts. Um, okay, so it remained in this, for knüpfen is an interesting verb. It means to connect. So it remained connected. Um, mm -hmm. And actually, this is a, a past participle serving as a predicate adjective, um, how it remained it re remained connected. And what, what part of speech is cite Labens? Um, is it an adverb? Good. Um, cite Labens, mean, this means life and this means time. With the S added tacked on there, it gives it an adverb, ad adverb of time. So for one lifelong or lifelong. Okay. okay. Um, and then mid is obviously a, a takes the dative, mm -hmm. and chicksal is is the fate. Um, des houses. Why you have des houses? This is a genitive here. Why is it es instead of just an s at the end there? Do you remember? Um, I don't. So uh, the verb is house, and you can't just add tech an s onto an s. So right. the alternative ending for the genitive is. Is es there? This house is okay. So translate. So uh, Marsilio's career um, remained connected uh, over his um, his lifelong or his entire life. Sure. Um, um, okay, with the fate of the house of Medici or the Medici house. That's right. Good. Mm -hmm. Going on. Schon als Vater. Dio di Fecchi den son bein Cosimo vorstellt. I'm sorry, I, I didn't say als. Schon als Vater Dio di Fecchi den son bei Cosimo vorstellt. Everybody? Schon als Vater Dio di Fecchi den son bei Cosimo vorstellt. Erklärt dieser 
erklärt dieser. Okay, so um, where's your um, verb in that in that uh, up to up to dieser? Uh, uh, so we have vorstellt Good. in mm -hmm. this part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that means? And then with uh, erklärt, oh, um, to put, to introduce, to, I think literally it means to, to put in front of. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, and um, your verb is, I mean, your subject? Um, um, uh, is it son or? No, this is the direct object. Um, oh, okay. So, here, here's your subject right here. As the father deal. Mm -hmm. Di feci, pronouncing that C with an Italian um, spin, I guess. Um, um, so already, already as as the father Dio di feci introduces uh, the son um, to, you could say to, or, or uh, um, in front of Cosimo, or, or um, with Cosimo, and then let's see, um, and go on. Do the whole thing up to Deezer. Just translate that again. Okay. Um, so um, already, as the father Dio uh, uh introduces uh, his son to Cosimo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then uh, uh, erklärt Deezer. So to state or to declare, or the latter. So the latter declared. Yeah. So if you remember, Deezer uh, is mm -hmm. contrast with Jener. In, in expressing the the former, the latter, and the Deezer is the closer one, so that it's obviously referring to the Cosimo here, and Yena would be the the, the 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 earlier one or the one further away. Okay, uh, uh, explains uh, he, um, the father explains to to this. Um, I'm sorry, uh, the latter explains, and then and then going on, do Ficino. Bis zur Heilung des Corpus, everybody. Du, Ficino, bis zur Heilung des Corpus. Dein Son Marsilio ist zur Heilung der Seelen vom Himmel uns geschickt worden. Dein Son Marsilio ist zur Heilung der Seelen vom Himmel uns geschickt worden. Okay, up to this point, how would you try to say that? Okay, so uh, you, um, you, Ficino, are for the healing of the body. Good. Here's the genitive singular des corpus, mm -hmm. and then um, how, where's the verb complex in that last part from dein son? Um, it will be uh, ist geschicht worden. Yeah. And so how do you translate that by itself? Um. Uh, uh, it has been has been sent. Good. That's right. Perfect passive. It has been sent, and subject is. Uh, Marsilio. Mm -hmm. Good. Dein, dein, uh, dein mm -hmm. son Marsilio. So has been sent. Um, and then uh, what about this uns? How would you construe that? Um, sent to us. Good. Sometimes you can get the sense of this because uh, this is a dative. Uh, you can mm -hmm. sometimes get the sense of that with the content of this, the verb itself. So has been sent. And then you, you're thinking in your mind, oh, to whom or to what? So here, here it's answered right here with the dative has been sent to us, and then and then from Himmel, from heaven, mm -hmm. uh, and then and then for the this what is the contract what is this a uh, contract for contraction for? Um, uh, to um. To to yeah. dare to dare yeah. so for for the healing of the. Yeah. The souls. Okay, you want to do that last part? Your son. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so, so you, Ficino, um, are for the healing of the body. Um, your son, Marsilio, has been sent to us from heaven for the healing of souls. <laughs> what a line! What yeah. fantastic! Uh, you want to just go through this whole thing, uh, just uh, sort of step by step. Uh, just translate in, in English so we can follow you. And I think everyone has been following us. And you can uh, sort of um, put together as as um, Hannah is doing it too. You want to do that? Sure. So starting from the beginning. Um, yeah. Okay. So decisive uh, for the young Ficino was the position of his father. First of all, as a surgeon at the Florentine Hospital, um, and and then as a personal physician or personal doctor 
of the Pater Patriae in Florence, Cosimo de' Medici. Mm -hmm. um, in, in 1434, Cosimo uh, had returned home from exile mm -hmm. and ruled without rank and title in the merchant city. Mm -hmm. Marsilio's career uh, remained connected over uh, his lifelong, so for over his entire life, uh, with the fate of the House of Medici. Um, uh, already, as the father, Dio Tifeci, uh, introduces his son to Cosimo, um, the latter uh, declares or explains, um, you, Ficino, are for the healing of the body. Your son, Marsilio, has, has been sent to us from heaven for the healing of souls. <laughs> What, what a, that's really fun. Very well done. And I hope you, were, everyone uh, listening, uh, really appreciate this. I mean, it's just a, a very powerful and and well written text too, and and just beautiful in its import. Um, I think so. Um, do, uh, don't don't you think everyone did did, did a good job, um, Hannah? Yeah, I think they did a really great job on that one. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, okay, well, thanks so much for tuning in, and, and we look forward to hearing, uh, seeing you again uh, the next day when we look at the fourth section of this uh, fantastic passage. All right, so take care, and, and um, all the best. Bye-bye.